Hey guys, it's Lane from RH. This is the second video that I'm doing that shows you how to put together what we call a resolved boundary line work drawing at RH. In the first video, we drew our actual uh, what they call land lines that, that we were contracted to survey. So those are the, the lines on the boundary between federal and, and private property. But we want to add some tie lines where appropriate. So for example, <clears throat> these lines here are on the inside of section eight. They haven't been surveyed before, so we broke down section eight. I can show you that on the GIS. So here is uh, section eight. Right here, you can see on the quad map. And we surveyed these lines, but we tied out these corners of section eight. Uh, this, this quarter corner was uh, destroyed I think in the in the clear cut by the timber company but we found all the other uh, we found all the other controlling corners so we're gonna go ahead and uh, and draw that in you know what I take that back we are missing one other corner here this corner was also this corner was also destroyed right here for whatever reason on this job, I, I, I've been finding more of the uh, section corners than the quarter corners. I, and I don't know if that's because uh, the timber company assumes they can straight line between section corners. And so the quarter corners, they're just not as careful with the quarter corners. We found a few, uh, but I would say about half as many quarter corners as section corners. So these two, these two quarter corners were out. So they will just be uh, put. We're not, I'm not going to set these because they're on timber company uh, property. And I don't have a right uh, to trespass for that, uh, but I will show those calculated positions on our survey. Okay, so, oh, there's a so, it's my favorite word, whisker, excuse me. Let's draw those lines in. Uh, we're going to actually put these on a tie line layer. So let's go ahead and do create that here in BricsCAD. And I just realized this isn't even named properly, so let's rename this. So we're gonna name this, we're gonna make a tie line, tie line layer. It's gonna be survey, boundary, lines, ties. That may end up moving to uh, a section line layer. I'll have to talk to my CAD folks and see how they wanna do that. Let's make that our current layer, and you can you can see I have those uh, lines roughed in uh, in the uh, the search drawing when I was I, I found some private timber company monuments here, and I just verified that they fit well with the controlling corners on the section, and they did. So let's go ahead and draw in these tie lines again. We're going mon to mon. Here we found the quarter corner. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna stub in some tie lines. So this is down the section line here to this monument, and then we'll bridge this gap here. This is along the section line to this monument. And then we can go uh, from this monument here to midpoint. Oop. And we can go from this monument to midpoint. That's where those quarter corners will be. Oop. Make sure you want to make sure you get that right. And then we'll run up this quarter section line here to this quarter corner. So those are our tie lines. Now we're showing everything we need to show in that section. Um, and, and I'll talk to my CAD folks, but these outside lines might get put on the section line later. We'll, we'll see how they want to do that. All right, so this next section over, so that was section eight right here. So this next section over is section nine. 
And we, I don't have all the corners in nine. I, I don't have this corner in nine, but I have all the other corners except for that uh, corner in nine. Uh, so let's go ahead and we can put some of those tie line layers in. So again, we're going mon to mon here along the north line of four. Now I'll double check. I don't. I'm. If we have a record tie to this corner of four, I will. I will add it to the search drawing and we'll put it in. But, but I don't see it in the search drawing, which means it, it's probably not there. So I really can't show that a tie here unless I go survey that monument, uh, which, uh, which is not in scope and isn't needed for the work I was doing. Um, but I might be able to find a record tie to it. We'll, we'll double check and make sure we didn't miss a record tie on that. Okay, so then we've got from here, this is the south quarter. We can go up to this monument, which would be on the quarter section line there. And then we can go all the way across here, mon to mon. And that, that this intersection now is gonna be our, uh, is gonna be our center quarter. And like I said, I don't think I can get this line in. Uh, I don't think I can get that in. Uh, let's just go check. Let's go look at that survey real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about. This is totally unscripted, but occasionally you have to you have to live dangerous. Let's go see if that, that tie is shown on that map. I think it's this. This is the one I want. I think. So this is the, the record survey from the contract survey that was done in the 80s, I think. We're looking for section nine. So here's nine, here's section nine. And he actually does show that. He shows that tie in. So, uh, and he shows it from both directions. So we just didn't get it in our Kogo. We, we probably told our folks to only Kogo the lines we were surveying. So I'll, I'll have my folks um, add those tie lines and then we can, once, once we have those tie lines in the Kogo, I'll be able to show some record ties over here to this corner. All right, down below that, we have uh, section uh, 16. Uh, I don't think we had a lot on the survey for section 16. Yeah, so section 16 um, actually didn't get surveyed, uh, but the weird part is I did find a stinking, um, I did find a stinking monument here, uh, but, but there's no record map, so uh, I probably am not going to be able to show a, uh, uh, any other lines on that section because it, it wasn't surveyed, but I am holding that monument. Um, let's see. Does he give me a bearing and distance over here? It's a little hard to read. We might be able to stub in and just show a record tie to that other corner of 16 there. So I don't know that I can show a lot more here other than we might be able to come all the way over here and stub a line down to 16. And, um, and I, I'll do that. I'll have my folks add that to the to, so we can show that record tie. And then this next section over is section, uh, we're almost done here, guys, is section 15. Oh, I'm sorry. It'd be, uh, it'd be section 10. And remember, I found double monuments here double monuments here. Uh, I have a little bit of this line to do in 11. And I think we found a monument on both ends of this line. Let's see what we show. Let's see what, what we show for 11. So he may not show very much of 11. You know what? I remember now 11 is uh, this line has never been, the timber company surveyed it, but it's not on any official surveys. Um, so I got to break down 11 and we haven't done that yet, but we will, we'll go search for and tie these controlling corners. I've already looked for this one. Uh, there's a, uh, there was a quarter corner that's got, it's gone. It's, it's in the lake, uh, but we have a few more corners to look for there. Uh, so I can't quite draw the line work for this yet because we haven't finished this survey of 11. And so I think that's it. I think that's all the line work we need. 
for this first record of survey. So the only thing I'm missing, guys, is we're going to get in the record ties to this northeast corner of 9. And then we'll stub in this tie to 16 since it's on that record of survey. And we'll have all our tie lines in. The only other thing I might do is, is move these to the section line layer. And then where it's appropriate and we can, uh, we're comfortable pulling off aerial photography, we're going to show some distance distance along the line, some topo calls to, to the road here as an example. And uh, we've got a, a creek here. Uh, so we've got some some topographic features on the quad map. There's a creek here. Um, so we'll, we'll, it'll help future surveyors. We will, we will get those on our survey as well. So I'll work with my drafters on that, but we've got, you know, 80% of the line work, uh, for, for the record of survey is ready to go. And now this was fairly easy because I didn't have to calculate the position of any corner. Well, that's not true. We did it. We did a section breakdown here to verify some foul bonds, uh, but on some of these other surveys, like right here, we, uh, Nope, oh, that's I take that back. We did find that monument. We ended up going back and find that finding that one. Uh, over here, uh, I did calculate a couple of monument positions. Nope, we found that one too. Hmm. We may have found most of them. I know there there's one or two spots where we had to calculate a position, but like I said, on most of this we were able to find the monuments. So now you guys have a have a rough understanding of, of how we get that line work. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, detach. Uh, you know what? I'm just going to unload these XREFs. So you, you can see when my drafters start their record of survey, they'll have a nice clean line work drawing like this. We're just missing a few record ties. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.